Shine time. What up, world? It's Hassan. Boogie, where you at? Boogie. Leaving me out to dry. Where you at? <laughs> Talking about your car ain't working or some shit. It reminds me of, that actually reminds me of the story about Steve Jobs. There was a dude who was very important to the Apple team that would be late every day to work. And Steve was like, yo, like, what's going on? And dude was like, Steve, I ain't want to tell you, but like, I was late because my car is having car troubles. He goes, I'm going to buy you a Jaguar tomorrow. Never be late again. <laughs> and that just like, it was, that sums up Steve just simplifying things. And so we got to figure out how to get you a new Jag book. Uh, that's the moral of the story. Right. Shout, Dane, we got to get him a Jag. Uh, so anyway, we here. Um, the, the guest that I was going to talk to first is not here. Um, but we got lots of people in the building, lots of vibes, people from motherfucking New Zealand, my man Rob, all the way across the universe. So we got lots of vibes, lots of love in the building. Um, but Suprice, as she texts, is, is super close. Be there in five minutes. Vine is hell right now. That's the exact text. Um, I got my projector charging, my little projector. So I'm going to start playing some videos in a second, turn the lights low. Get some vibes going. Um, but uh, we also have, um, which she's been on the show before. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Senna, and I'm from Amsterdam. I love that. I'm Senna, and I'm from Amsterdam. <laughs> just so you, just if you didn't know. Now you do. Red Light District popping. Pop. Let's lower one light just for, just for the Red Light District. <laughs> right there. One, one at a time. We're going to get there. Um... What's up? I ain't seen you in a minute. I know. It's What's, been crazy. It's been crazy. Yeah. It is it's cold, but you're still in the fishnets for the for the culture. It, it's not that cold. I fuck with that. It's not that cold. That's really me. representing Amsterdam. I know. That's right? like saying, yo, don't matter. Rain, <laughs> sleet, or snow, we're going to represent in the fishnets out here in LA. Um, so, what's up? What you been up to? Uh, just working. Working. Yes. On music. I don't have anything yet that I can let you hear. Oh but my god! I feel like I feel like it's. I'm teasing. I know. I know. What about singing? What about singing live? What do you want to hear? I don't know. Something that sounds like fishnets. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. I don't know about that though. <laughs> That's what I'm into mainly. Is is sonic? Like you know, how people have synesthesia where they see colors uh -huh. with music. I see like. Uh, fish nets, fish nets, yeah, <laughs> and Swedish fish. Oh, okay, yeah. both Makes sense. both red, preferably. <laughs> so, any sing? You wanna you wanna sing something? Uh, yeah, I can do one. Sentence. Oh, you wanna wait a little bit, get warm? No, no, up? I can I can do one sentence. Okay, okay. It's here we go. Here we go. Hold <clears throat> on, let's make sure that. Woo! Here's Shabrice <laughs> as she enters. We already on live. Vine was a mess. I already said Vine was hell, so you can Vine is hell. you can feel free to to you know we're allowed to curse. So Vine is fuck. <laughs> so um, all right, yeah. So okay, we're we're, we're waiting. Oh, let's lower one more light. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't want to mess with the shooting. <laughs> Never mind. Keep it right there. Cause I give you all of me, and you give me all. I love you. Woo! Okay. There we go. Will, my man Will is in the bed. He, yo, yo, yo. That's him playing the, in the background the Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday music. That's his phone. That's his phone ringer. Um, what's up, Will? How you feeling? I'm good, brother. I'm good. Live and direct on the mic. Yes, sir. Man, we've been going hard. Me, me and Will, we've been sure. we've been in the studio for about two and a half weeks straight, <laughs> literally straight to the point to where it's like uh, two nights ago we was at a we was at. Come on, how you gonna just play the music while I'm talking? That is not acceptable. Um, silence is golden, especially when Hazier is talking. Um, to the point, I was going so hard to the point to where two days ago. We was at an event in Venice, and I literally had an anxiety attack. So I literally just, no, I literally had to just leave. I didn't even say bye to nobody. No. I was like, yo, I just got to call Uber and just dip. Because yep. I literally, like, you know, I've had anxiety issues, but, like, it's been two years since I've had, like, a really bad attack. But that was, like, a bad attack. And um, 
So anyway, so that's how hard we've been going to the point to where I'm just eating cupcakes and Chick Fil A, and <laughs> <laughs> I walked into the green juice spot the other day, and I told the lady, I literally walk in and I tell her, I go, I've been eating Chick Fil A for three weeks straight. Which drink do I need? Oh <laughs> she my God. said. She said. She looked at me. She said, Chick Fil A, three weeks straight. You gonna need the green gorilla or so it was. I don't know what it was called. The green, like the that. mighty Joe Young or some shit. I said, ah, right, whatever, whatever it is, let's get it popping because, yeah, I was about to hit the emergency room. Like, yeah, I was like, man, I gotta get some IVs or something. I'm right. fucked up. So that's how hard we've been going. We've been working on. Uh, woo, Rocco Moons in the bed. Yo, we have. T- oh, I can't say who we have in the lobby actually, but. CH, my man CH. And, <laughs> and he put out an album the other day. So yes, you, do, you do the context clues. But um so Shaprice, what's up? Hey. How you hey, feeling? Shaprice. Good. Rocking Finally. the Sonics hat. Hey. The <laughs> you know, OG, the Sean Kemp, yeah. the Gary yeah. Payton, the, Gary the Payton club special. joint. This is this is my hometown. So that's you know, key. To, that's key arena. Yeah. Is it still key arena? Oh, there um, is no more team. There's no, there's no more I team. I mean, the, yeah. the key. Oh is still my god! You know what? They that's were the real, major key that's, originally. Yeah. We 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 put that on the map. Um, wow. That's a that's a really sore subject. So oh yeah, I understand. To... I understand. <laughs> I understand. We, we still got well, the... now they're the Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Some people still we follow the Thunder that. though. Yeah. Do you follow the Thunder? Ben Roy, he does it. Nah, she said I ain't fucking okay. with the thunder. Yeah. She said I'm on my Kevin Durant so, shit. So, so, fuck so, the thunder. <laughs> yeah, that one hurt. Um, yeah, I don't fuck with the thunder. We're trying to get either. him back. So Russell Wilson, I think, is heading that now. Trying to. Oh get yeah, the Russell Sonics. Wilson. That's what y'all got. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're still on it. I think you, you know what's so funny is ever since he got with Sierra, he's kind of trashed it up. <laughs> I think Sierra's cursed, bro. He's distracted. Look, look at He's look distracted. at Sierra's history. No, really, look at Sierra's history. <laughs> Sierra gets a, uh, got with uh, Fifty Cent. Mm-hmm. Fifty Cent goes trash. trash. She got with C- uh, Bow Wow. He went. Well, I mean, he was always kind of you know. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, but I'm saying his whole like life went trash. Oh, and then uh, some shade. Uh, Sierra go away. Well, Wayne went trash. Yo, hey. Sierra's cursed, baby. You got I me think on this, this radio talking about. <laughs> nah, she might be cursed. Nah, hey, Medusa was. I mean, Poom Poom can be cursed out I mean, in the streets. Yeah, it it's, it started to uh, get real rocky. It got there. rocky. It got, it got rocky, rocky for a lot of rocky. her. She's things a are black really, widow out things here. Things were really rocky. Uh, what was it yesterday? We didn't do good. Sore subject. <laughs> Oh, man. Things are things are hard in Seattle right now. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I'm glad to be back. Yeah, <laughs> happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it's all Sierra's fault, man. <laughs> Blame you know, how, you know how people used to say if you got on the cover of Madden, like the yeah, next yeah, year the you would be curse, bad. Yeah. The Madden curse. Sierra is the new Madden curse. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sierra. Hey. I actually like Sierra a lot. She gives me a lot of Janet Jackson vibes. I like her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Hopefully that cleaned it up. Hopefully that made it PC enough. It's like, I mean, they, they're... Just beautiful. in case you need some beats or something, yo. Like, it's all good. We still got we love. love you know what I mean? we, yeah, we got love. Yeah. Um, they're beautiful. No, but that's how you know she's cursed. Because she was dating Future. And Future couldn't even get her a hit record. And Future was giving hit records out like it was... Uh, Fucking oh. fish fillets, Ouch. And, Ouch. And, Ouch. and she couldn't even get a hit record with, with, with Future. Same. It's like, come on. I'm not allowed to speak on it. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Shout out to CC. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so, um, what's been going on? I know you were out in Seattle. Now you're here vibing. Yeah. You, are you working on stuff? Are yes, you- yes, yes, yes. Um, I was back and forth a lot this past year because I moved to LA last November. Um, Make just- some noise for that. Yes, I made it. <laughs> Make some noise for that. You Everybody who want to move to LA and just says, fuck it and does it, man. Shout them out. Absolutely. Yeah, I just I, I packed, I packed up the Jeep and I was like, I gotta go. Because uh, the last the last show, the last proper show that I played in Seattle was with the symphony, and that to me was my cue to go. Cause I was like, I gotta figure out how to get there in other cities. Woo! Hold on, wait a minute. You Let's know. make some noise for a symphony show. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's just a quick stunt button real fast. Nah. Last time I performed was with a symphony. <laughs> that was no. And then I realized <laughs> I had to just I gotta leave do it. Seattle I gotta do completely. Because there's nothing else I could do. Well, until, you know, you start playing arena shows and that sort of thing, it's kind of like you have these milestones within your city that you want to hit. And then once you do that, you don't want to get big fish, small pond syndrome, which tends to happen a lot there. So I I decided to challenge myself and start 
ground up somewhere else, and that's why I'm here. That's good. Now, here we go. Was that gig at the Benaroy Hall? It was. Tight. It was. Oh, you know. Yeah. That, yeah, those are your people. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I love the footage, all that footage that you showed me. What was that with um, the revolt? Was it that the oh, one? Oh, yeah, that was at Sasquatch. Oh, that was Sasquatch. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's a big... That looked really dope, that too. That was... Um, yeah, that was, you know, I, I, I tend to kind of set my performance bar really high and I'm like, let's do live mannequins and let's do a five piece string section and let's do all this stuff. And then when I start getting into it, I'm like, fuck, <laughs> now right. I have to actually execute it. Right. So it's, you know, it's a Who lot of telling. It's a lot of moving parts when you have a, when you have big visions like that. You really don't realize how much you are um, investing in that vision until you start making the dress and you know choreo making choreography for the dancers and doing all this stuff and you just kind of you know it's fun though it's like when it all happens it just happens so fast and then you get on stage in 45 minutes and it's over and you're like right three months of prep and you know what i mean so it's like you're right so every time you just have to do a little bit more because that's what makes an outstanding performance and that's what gives someone something to look back on i'm sure You've, we've all been to a thousand concerts where we didn't really have a visual um, memory of the show. But then you go see somebody like Kanye or you go see somebody like the Gorillas. I saw the Gorillas Plastic Beach tour. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like they really make it a it's equal parts sonically stimulating and visually stimulating. And so that's really important because I think those two things go hand in hand. And so, yeah, you know, we just. I, I, I couldn't agree more, especially if you rap. All rappers out there, you need to realize watching rap music is extremely boring. And you need to have as much going on as possible to make it an entertaining show. Because mm-hmm. if you're not dancing and you're not singing and you don't got no live instruments, man, you better have motherfucking naked bitches up there doing <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking dogs and shit, doing <laughs> some sort of bestiality shit so motherfuckers can be entertained. No, I agree. I I agree. I Just agree. Just off the rails. Just off the rails. I mean, you got to go for Completely. it. I mean, no, cause, no, cause rap, because rap, a lot of rap doesn't think about that. Not only are you not dancing, you're not singing, mm-hmm. and no live instrument. That's like, that's three, that's the top three yep. things of a show. The trifecta. Right. Yeah. It's like, how are you just going to get up there and talk and think yeah. that it's like, that could work for like 100 people, 200 people, right. and, I mean, and it looks lit. Set in a mood, you know. A lot and, of but it's, it's still about setting a mood regardless so like i saw flying lotus at south by a few years back and he didn't really do anything but he had a screen in front of him so it was a silhouette and there was a light show going on so even if you're not really super interactive still just setting a mood is really important because that can be equally as memorable as you know the whole true shout out to flying lotus will will calls me the day of he was doing flying lotus was doing hollywood bowl Mm -hmm. and he's like yo you want to go to this flying lotus show i'm like yeah, sure. And I'm thinking we're just going to have like regular seats. It's dude, we all understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got it. Right. Right. Do you know Fly Lotus? We're, I, I feel like we're in the band or some shit. Hey, Amen. And um, so that was that was really fun. And uh, that was for your birthday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was that was a super good time. And But even that, I'm not going to lie, it was very beautiful mm-hmm. and it was amazing. But I'm not going to lie, if that was 15 minutes longer, I'd have been like, okay. <laughs> lost you. Okay. There's a lot of elements, <laughs> you know? A, yeah, yeah. You, you needed something else. I feel, if they would have went 20 more minutes, you're like, you I, lost someone me. would have got, yeah. yeah. I would have I I went the, the Bill only O'Reilly person, in that motherfucker. The only person that I was able, th- that I've ever only been able to successfully stay entertained by for more than two hours is Prince. But mm. I mean. Me too. Yeah. But I mean. Yeah. I was like, he only played for three and a half hours. God, oh, wow. <laughs> like, keep going. But yeah, I feel you. You gotta you gotta keep them engaged. There's a lot you can do, you know, it doesn't have to be this big budget. You just have to uh have you know, put some creativity behind it. You know, find some homies that are down to create with you and contribute to the visual aspect. Because that's what I did for um the symphony show, you know. We have so many resources as artists and we don't really realize it. Um for the symphony show I had some friends that were dancers, so I you know, we did a little choreography and then um, there was an all boys choir high school that I was like, hey, do you guys want to be a part of this? You know, so just kind of thinking outside of the Hell box yeah. and good. look into your community to see what other creative lanes there are that you can kind of join with and right. make something special. No, absolutely. I don't mean this in a sexual way, but 
put your lips on the mic. Maybe move it up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I want them to fully. I want them to fully hear this. Can you hear me now? Symphony talk. Am I coming in, Cleety? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now you coming in. Good. They gotta hear this symphony talk like loud and clear. Um. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, money. A lot of times we get so like worried about resources and money, mm-hmm. but money never built no pyramids. Right. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you're right. It it is just about building and figuring out other builders mm-hmm. that you know you can um, have the same common goal. In Absolutely. Mind and everything. So because you'll find more often than not that people are trying to showcase what they do. Um, Going back to the symphony, I had someone doing um, projection mapping onto the right. organ pipes. Shout him out. What's his name? His name is Alex. Alex. Shout and- out to Alex. <laughs> we need you. We need we I was, that's what you. I was, out. That's what I was telling you about, Hassan. We, we do you. need yeah. him. He's yeah. really, Projection really mapping is, is the it's, future. You know? Man, it was I just, really. I just went to um, Circus Ole recently, and they were doing this crazy. It's pretty much on a giant. It's like a bunch of sheets with like. And then they project these things on it, it becomes a mountain or a mm-hmm. landscape. And, yeah. You know, they did a thing with water flowing and, you know, it was a little more theater cheese, but if you do that in the right element with the right music, yeah. it's, it's amazing, you know? And it was just completely something that I'd never even thought of. And, and what was really nice about it was that he was a student at the University of Washington. So also that's another key. Artists, try and find people that are trying to build their portfolios and people that are also just you know, still getting their feet wet because that was exactly what it was for him. He was like, I don't want to charge you because I don't feel that I'm at the level yet the, to the do gorilla. that. Yeah, like, we're, 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 twice. we're yeah. on the same yeah, level the king right of now. So, Hassan, I agree with you, brother. Hassan is the king of that. So you all starting now. I hear you. I agree with you, So he you, was man. like, I just want to practice and what's a better venue to do that at than Benna? Right. So, you know, just find people there. You know, we're all just trying to get it out yeah. and, you know, here we no, are. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, and I love the conversations we've had about you know the art installation I'm trying to mm-hmm. do, and that's why we're shouting you out, Alex. So because because he's coming down. I already yeah. told him. We I told him you. about. We need yeah. you. He's. I'm. I'm trying to do a lot with Alex. <laughs> yeah, we need all. And the you too. I'm always like Hassan. What about? Alex? I know. I love Hassan, Shabri what so about- much. Shabri's be like <laughs> getting me excited about me. I'm like, and that says a lot because I'm pretty excited about me already. But like Shabri's be Shabri's be hitting me up about. Woo, Rocco's in the building. Come here, Rocco. We live on the show. It's my brother right here. We live on the show, but I had to stop it. It's my brother Rocco. Got Rocco. Yo, what hey. up, buddy? <laughs> Sorry about that. That was unprofessional. But that's my <laughs> brother Rocco Moon. You, you. Moon, Moon Entertainment. Gang, gang. Um, I just sound like super whack saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate doing like things that are like kids that I'm not like good at doing. Um, so, okay, cool. Do you got any music that we could play or? I do. Like, some yes. oh, but I don't have. Oh man, Kurt Cobain! Do we have the <laughs> same? Kurt Cobain! Do you have yeah, an adapter? What's that, man? I actually wanted to bring that with me, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to play anything from my music. It's in the car. Um, man, title Spotify. Food? I don't got nothing because my credit card, I, my shit, my shit stopped. Uh, you have one of these too, huh? I have my Spotify. Stop. Yes, I'm trying to listen. I've literally lost three of these things. Does anybody have? They said you got to pay for. Like one of these. It's in the car. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. Rent it. They messed up. Rent it. Kurt. 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 All right, well, while we're waiting, while we're waiting, let me play something off of uh, off of my man Boogie Dad. Well, I don't know if Boogie want me to do this. Boogie probably doesn't want me to do this, so I'm going to do it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're thanking uh, for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is off of, this is off of Arnold Palmer. Boogie's Boogie's Tate is a song that me and um, this girl Sig out of New York, Will, co-produced it with Boogie. All the live instrumentation. Hold on, let me try to find it. It's called Barcelona. Mm, (laughs) That's nice. Which I'm the governor of Barcelona. That's when you got really good bars. You'd be like, yo, you just spit some bars. You'd be like, that's Barcelona. You know what I mean? (laughs) So let me try to find it right here. Oh, Kurt's back. Fuck it. <laughs> we going straight to Chaprice. Kurt, right. Kurt was quick and I thought. <laughs> yeah. We'll play Barcelona in a little bit here, y'all. <laughs> Where does this go? Rocco's in the building. Yeah. I got to have Rocco come up as a guest next week. Are you available? 
Which week? Not next Monday. Oh, not, not next Monday? No. Oh, okay. But one of these years, one of these light years, we're going to get the moon, man. So what are you going to play for us? The song is called Unwind, and it's from the album that I just released called Coles. Um, nice. Here we go. I was very professional, by the way, too. Found your love from way up high Wondered where you were tonight Come wrap your love all around me Tell me your secrets, I'll tell you my fantasies Was on one. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. You said that, okay? That was so okay. So that project came out. When oh did that come man, out? like um, about a month ago. Okay. It took. You know, I I actually wrote this album three years ago. Wow. So, oh wow. Dang. Why did you Why did you wait so long? To- you know, I um, I was just trying to do it right. And I was connecting dots. And also it was supposed to come out last year, but I decided to move and I just, I needed to wait. Yeah. Sometimes that's what's really hard about being an artist is just waiting because we get so excited about our music and we're just like, let me put it out. (laughs) And, you know, sometimes we don't have support or we don't, we just aren't, it's not set up properly yet. So I just, I learned a lot of patience. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of patience with this album um and plus i really wanted to release it close to my next release which will be in february so i'm working on some new stuff right now okay so we'll just be able to go off the new momentum stuff that is going to be produced by <laughs> hopefully no I, is, I, I got my fingers crossed like no, man she's about to go in the spaceship <laughs> up to the moon i need my seat in you the ship know. i'm harassing you and will all the time like can i get that instrumental can no, i get that we, instrumental <laughs> we, we harass so, you no. I know. We, it's we both ways. It's a, it. it's a mutual harassment. Yeah, we gotta Did Kyle mix that one? I'm Kyle trying to mixed, get to yeah. the moon. Okay. Kyle Ross mixed Kyle the J. entire... Ross. Kyle, Kyle J. Ross. Kyle, Kyle Jerry Ross. Shout out to KJR. Um, <laughs> mixed the whole album. And so it sounds beautiful. He did a good job. Yeah. You know. Was Very that nice. your favorite song? Is it why you picked it? That is my favorite song on the album. That's what I thought. Um, I love favorites. I just really like kind of down-tempo, dark mm-hmm. vibes, dark, sexy vibes. I was born the day before and ha- before Halloween, so I feel like that has a lot to there you do go. with yes. my vibe. The um, dog that I grew up with uh, <laughs> was born on Halloween. So what was his name? It was a it was a her. Her name was Fluffy. And where's Cookie? Uh, I know I'm sad right now. Don't I stress me out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> anxiety. Yeah. I just said I had anxiety. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's my anxiety. Uh, you know how Michael Jackson used to have bubbles, mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm. the the monkey. That's or I don't want to maybe. Chimp, uh, and, yeah. 
I that's how I feel with the cookie. Mm-hmm. I need her. That's your emotional have, support. That's my emotional support. I have one of those. Yeah. I have an eighty pound Dalmatian that yeah. uh-huh. is also just kind of like, you know, a nice anxiety. It's group. sad that we have to have dogs as like anxiety. <laughs> like it, I thought it used to be like girlfriends, but those just give you more anxiety. Right. <laughs> it's like yo, I thought like we got married because we needed emotional support. And now we need things because of the old the, emotional support. It's like, God damn, what are we doing in these streets? So a we're lot. gonna play a fun game. This is the first time we've ever done this. This is a fun, fun game. Hold on. I love fun, fun games. <laughs> okay. So we got my man Rocco in the building, like I said. Rocco. Kirk Cobain, what do you do? Uh, I do everything. I uh, rap. I uh, um, perfect. Yeah. Great. So what we're gonna <laughs> do? We're gonna do a fun game. We got my man Goon in the building from. Goon. They are from Arkansas. 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 Represent. Shout, shout out to Little Rock. Shout Derek Fisher's from there. And Tam the Terrible. Um, uh, and Derek Fisher's a savage for running up on Matt Barnes' girl like that. Um, but I fuck with it. 21. Because she was. She did look good. Can't be mad at a five, five-time five champion. You know what I mean? Shout out to Derek Fisher. Um, we're going we're gonna to play a random beat oh. that's on my man Charles's phone. And then we're going to just go into a... Ch- Charles going to set it off with a, with a rap. Yes. Uh, yes. A, a rap. This, yes. Is, this is legendary. I love legend, legend, how legendary fucking this Derek. is, first of all. Absolutely. Secondary, he going to start rapping. And then we going to just... Rock, going to hop on. My man Kirk Cobain going to hop on. Goon going to start spitting bars. Uh, uh, it, we got two singers. So we might have to just go into a hook. That's cool. This is a whole record right now. I'm Barry Gordy. (laughs) I'm Barry Gordy right now. And this is about to be vibes. So let's get the aux one time. Let me try to let me try to pull up this Atari Atari edition Charles B. Oh shit, I'm saying something that's wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Getting mad. You wanna switch the beat, man? Who you looking at me like my bad. It's, it's, It's it's Sega, Sega Genesis. Sega. Here we go. So everyone just, you know what I mean? Come come to the, come close to the mic. If you spit, come on. We got to come close to the mic right here. Yes, sir. It's just, this is a cypher. This is the first time we ever did this. This is live. This is his vibe. Kirk Cobain ready. He said, fuck all y'all. I'm sitting in the chair, and I'm finna shine. Oh, we get, we get some days. Did y'all come together? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Yeah. I thought this was just, just some vibes right now. I thought it was, I said, fuck, we just turned into the love show. We, we turned into Bringing the people together. We, we know each other. We turned into Dr. Phil. <laughs> <Phil's laughs> <up in the phone. laughs> All right, so here we go. Charles, take a seat. I need oh, he need headphones. Let's go. Where are the headphones at? Oh, you can plug your headphones right in the thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Here we go. I might start spitting. I got the Drake Van New MC Hammer pants. So let me throw on my Michael Jackson jacket. Michael Jackson, <laughs> one, two. Uh oh. Let's go. Put it down right. for him. It's hot as hell, though. Bro. Microphone check. Charles Hamilton. Into the Hamilton.blogspot.com. Hamilton Charles currently on iTunes. Check it. Low self esteem with an attitude to match it. Kind of ratchet. Have to get the latitude. Matter who for what. Moving up like the Jeffersons Never forget again the best of friends And nemesis when the time requires it to be Hopefully you're listening to me spitting free If not, then I guess the shit got a fee And if I'm not supposed to curse Then holy verse I kinda deaded it But hopefully you respect the shit My neck could twist Like the exorcist But I do even ill as shit When it's them texts I spit And it's kinda like a chick from Texas With the words that I'm kicking y'all So word it's gotta be superb And if not, my nine is kind of a turd I'll shit it on words Once again, numbing in Heroin addicts already understand Therefore, they're at it Now who's next on the mic? Gosh, dag it Darn it <laughs> Come through and harm it Go ahead Oh, that's right You don't know the beat is <laughs> Oh, that's Want me to bring the beat back? Bring the beat back. I want it. I want it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Rocko right Moon. <laughs> yeah. Moonshot. Yeah. Turn the can you turn the beat up in the headphones? Uh, yeah. yeah. Get ready. Yeah. It's about to get serious. Uh oh. Yeah. Rocko yeah. Moon. Yeah. yeah. 
Missed opportunities uh. Shouting out to Dooney And Burke Had to hit her with a smirk Right quick Young Cap Kirk You ain't ready for that Had to kick you Wear it to the dirt Go ahead And she pull up skirt And I pull off skirt Skirt Go ahead Leave you in the past Leave you in something so drastic You could never Act gymnastics Pliability I'm trying to tell you Tranquility comes at night I'm trying to tell you Take that flight I'm trying to Tell you Heaven sent Charles made the beat though You ain't even ready If you shooting from the free throw H2. Trying to jump that Trying to bump back Wasn't really ready So I had to turn everything Into a hedgehog And then run back And do another loop And then had to take another poop Had to shit on all the haters Had to get another game on Sega Had to tell you You was trying to stab me And I was choosing Vega That's kick That's kick That's kick and the beat okay. fades out. Go, go, man, let's go. Yeah. Oh, we got, I'm just puffy. Hold on. Take that, take that. I know, take that. One. Kurt. It's yeah. not over yet. Beats uh. courtesy of H2. Halo, where you at, boy? Yeah. Shout out, my nigga Halo. Uh. Charles Young Kurt Hamilton. on the mic. Yeah. Young Kurt Cobain, Young let's Kurt, go. Uh, yo, yo. Dash one, having mad fun, man. The beat smash. Coming on here, give them whiplash and heat flashes. Yeah, don't even know, we about to mash it. Come on back and just sit back with a chick on my lap. I'm about to pack a zigzag back to smoke yeah. that shit like this. Ah, come on, get it. I'm about to hit it when I gotta get it for a minute, then I'm in it, then I step out the back seat. Motherfuckers know that we even acting like we athletes, but we not, we just wear jerseys. Yeah, yeah, Puff and Hershey, or what you wanna do, or what you wanna call it. I'm not even an alcoholic, but I sip a little bit. Here I am, here just kicking a little lip, uh. Yeah. Hey, Kurt! I got one bar, and then Goon's coming on right, right, right up here. I said, she's all body till she's nobody. You don't get it though. She's all body until she's nobody. That's it. Hey, I like that. That's dope. Hello? We got beats. Yeah, go, go right. to get you ready? I'm the Yeah. Once upon a time, yeah, back in the day, I was at the school. Niggas was saying he gay. Now I got it on me right now. Fuck it, fuck it, switch up the flow like this is, this is, they'll never know, yo. I got to get it, get it in the flow, yo. Had to get it right up on the show, yo. Nah, I can't do this. Hey! <laughs> hey. Oh, we, we got some singing vibes. Oh, today was not oh, your average day. No rain in the sun, you shine stay. Oh, it's such a... My fault. Uh, uh, it went to the next beat. It went to the next beat. Let's just stick with Ninth Wonder and keep it safe. Okay. A minor, baby. Yo. Cut me deep. Be surprised if the lovely freak would fuck with me. Publicly, nigga said he would be Buddy Lee. And he's kind of my buddy. So luck is me. Or woe is me. And woe was luck. If she's throwing up what I'm throwing up. They say, Charles, grow up. I like, yo, I got both nuts. So when I woke up, all that shit just. Meaning it didn't exist. The meanest one spitting this shit. I don't demean him, I live in this shit. But to be in the demeanor of spitting this shit. Knowing that these divas be giving a lick to the. Uh, that kind of gets me into bliss. Well, that leads me into shit. Sorry, Jigger. You my nigga. But these butt bigger. <laughs> Fuck niggas Niggas don't understand how up I am Not uptight, but damn Sam I am I fuck the mic up when I spit And I ain't write stuff I just go off my spit style Jot this down I am the illest of all time age Therefore, four back nigga Get some roll aids Don't go away Keep these niggas in place While I be spitting like the river of the Niles in my face No denying this is a freestyle I'm just not wasting any time in the least bit God, I'm a secret Made love to God, now danger is lurking I'm sorry strangers, but anger's the person Deep inside, therefore I slit the wrist one time and Give a lick to the blood Hello, sunshine Not a Lupe ad-lib Hello, goodbye But I don't need to hold the mic it I let it go Like the holes Whenever my flow Will hit it the nicest yo And I don't mean nice As in giving niggas dap I mean rock or moon Go ahead Fuck up the track Culture Fucking up the track 
Hope they lay new rails. I'm a first grader, new pale, new pale skin, new Dale pin. A uh, young kick, cloud kicker. As I coming down the ooh, she ain't ready for it. Yeah, I'm about to take you back to '97, maybe four. Maybe I'm gonna take it to the four and the four door four that was parked outside up in the country lane. Yeah, I was getting country brain. That was from a loophole that you weren't ready for. Had to insert you in the control alt. Alt delete, you wasn't ready for all your faults. Now I had to bring that back, California. Now I'm sitting on a fault and I'm feeling oh all, oh all. And the OZs try to blow through me, try to find the trees in the middle of a Serengeti desert. Production was taking me to a feather. Uh. <laughs> More ninth wonder. If anybody's not jumping in, I'm going. We slowing it down. <laughs> Rocko Moon, go, go, yeah, go, just go, go, just go, 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 go. Like the Lupe Fiasco track that I heard a while back, and that shit put me on my back, and I had some stars that I could stick on the ceiling that I was looking at, and I was getting consumed by this feeling, and the feeling was hip hop, and I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to young jot my thoughts down. Now I'm about to go all the way back across town to the. Other side where they don't have my kind And now I'm about to shine Half my kind That's a mm. diamond that rags the riches Even the had the bitches Even if half the bitches came and they still want your britches And then it's all good uh. Culture done wonder hey, yo. Yeah Yo Yeah Mama marijuana saved my life I'm kind of a marijuana kind of sir But I don't play on the mic I'm kind of sir, kind of sire, kind of yes I'm kind of yes sir Data Mathers and Massa But yes I'm, I guess I'm even more Yes I'm a slave, better than yesterday But there's still scratches on my grave Whipping my back as if I ain't licking the cat They pissed at the fact the nigga can rap My picture it's fact, ridiculous fact That's the adjective my nigga And I'm spitting off the cap That's just what happens when you me and then there's symphonies and then there's other elements of music that get to me like a kiss from she or any chick god damn i have a sin i committed that i can confess to but i'll be damn bless you i bless and accept dudes and ladies i bless and accept you too except this is voodoo or vodo mtv mention me top f-i-v-e I believe And if I didn't die that night Then high Friday night Let's get high then Wait, today is Monday Meaning I gotta sober it down Listen to mud vein Or maybe I just got a stuck brain I love you too I love you too much I love you so much I love you so much too Why did you throw up some other sign? Ridiculous I'm in love with my mind Cutting up sometimes Back of the class misfit Smacking the ass of this chick Press the button on a track switch Still nasty as a backflip from S O N I C G O T H I C Believe I believe in I and I believe I can fly thanks to R. Kelly. You can't say nothing after R. Kelly, brother. You can't say nothing else after R. Kelly, brother. Damn. Shout out to R. Kelly. R. Kelly, that sex tape taught me how to eat ass. So shout out to R. Kelly. <laughs> Lord, the way he had that girl sitting on that shit. Go back and watch that video, cause that girl wasn't <laughs> underage. That girl was that girl was of age. Okay. The way he had her sit up on that seat. Anyway, um, so there you go, Charles Hamilton killing it for us. Yeah, you know I mean, Marco Moon killing it for us. Surprise with the ad libs and go. Hey, Kurt Cobain. I'm gonna take 10% of this connection, even though y'all <laughs> came together. Just for my soul, I wanna take a little right. bit. We, we, we'll, um, we'll talk, we'll talk yeah, about I, the Yeah, I wanna take a little bit of that. Uh, I gotta come to the wedding, is what I'm saying. Uh, Just let me know. <laughs> let me know when to get my, I only got one suit, so I'll get it out the cleaners. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Just let me know a week ahead of time. I only got one, so I gotta know ahead of time. Um, uh, Goo killed it. He gave us like eight Goody. bars, and it was. Goody. I mean, it's Goody. legendary. Goonie. Goonie, Arkansas, you gotta represent. Arkansas. Derek Fisher vibe. And uh, that way. And uh, yeah, so, okay, that's vibe. So, uh, how you feeling, Charles? I keep going, man. I mean, I know you can. I know you. I don't think I can keep going. And I ain't even rap. I was just ad libbing, I'm tired. I'm doing the DJ Cadley Puff Daddy, and I'm tired. Um. Yeah, that was you been making new beats? You been you been cooking? I got nothing but new beats. Shout out to DJ Ski. 
DJ Ski, wherever you at, man. Shout out to you. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, I've been making nothing but new beats. Um, like I said, Hamilton Charles, my first retail album after about 300 free projects has been released courtesy of Republic Records. Uh, big shouts to them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about you know, what the future may bring. But I'm going to be honest, and, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm kind of need your support on this. Be honest, my brother. When you go hey, from... When you go from... Frank Ocean the, Dope too, bro! <laughs> <laughs> when you go from an underground sound to the mainstream sound, it's not easy to go back to the original sound. And I've been working on, like, mastering the sound that I've been presenting to the masses on my own while working on this Hamilton Charles album. So I'm just asking that my star chasers continue to have faith in my music. Mm-hmm. I apologize for being so hard on you since 2012. I went through a lot of hell. I've seen a lot of negative comments from people who were like my best friends on Facebook. My fans are my friends. Like I, I talk to you guys one on one. There's no filter at all. And I just felt like a lot of y'all lost faith in the only thing I could believe in was Dilla and Mad Lib, and my music was dedicated to them since 2012. So, to my star chasers, still keep believing. I got you no matter what. I'm not going to come with nothing whack. It's just, don't get spoiled by the Nintendo sound. And I just said it on the radio. Take it forever. Yes. Yeah. Amen. God bless. I asked you red. I asked you red. That's that right there. That is a, that is a rare... A rare piece of info, man. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that, Charles. Mm-hmm. You my brother, man, so always we shining. And the underground, we here. We here. Me, Rock, we here. We ready to go. So whatever, whatever, whatever we gotta do, you know, we gonna we gonna take the take the sword and keep keep fighting for that. You know what I mean? So let's let's do it. Let's get into um you wanna play a record off the album? Uh you got a record off the album or or Alright, it's all good. But we gonna See, this is this is called we plug it in later. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. The people ain't gonna notice it. Uh, <laughs> we gonna plug it in. You gonna hear it? It's gonna be lit. We don't got it on us right now, but uh, so let's go into that. Charles Hamilton. What's the name of the record? It's called Everyone. Everyone off the album titled Hamilton Charles. Hamilton Charles. I mean, it can't be more Steve Jobs than that. That's so <laughs> that's so simplified and so. Charles Hamilton presents Hamilton Charles, fucking legend. All right, everyone, we getting into it. And then this is where we plug in. Everybody. This is the plug in moment. All right, we back. All right, we back. That shit was crazy. (laughs) Plug in. Um, So, so we play. Okay, what did we play today? Let's recap what we played. We played a Chaprice record. Senna sang for us live. Do you want to sing more live? What do you want to hear? <laughs> I mean, you know what you know what I'm into. The leather bush. I mean, let's just make some noise for the outfit one more time. Let's get a close up. Stand up one time. Stand up. Amsterdam. She got the Puma. The red light district. Yeah. It's called vibes. You gotta appreciate vibes. Yeah, you know I mean, um, you know. What a, this is great. It's a great episode. There's a lot of energy in here, a lot of vibes. It's hot as I know, hell. I know, I know something about Jane Ico. Huh? Jane Ico. Jane Ico, let's go. Love her. <clears throat> Shout out to Big Sean. <laughs> yeah, love her. I don't need your trust. I don't need that shit, yeah. I've had enough. I think you should just run away, get away, find a new love, run away. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Are you coming to the studio today? I can't tonight. Oh, I can't tonight. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm going to Drake's house. No, I have to babysit. Oh, you got babysit? Yeah. Okay. All right. I wish I could come, though. But Babysit- <laughs> babysitting is better than Aubrey. I've lost too many girls that I love to the Calabasas crib. I, I got to make a whole album. Fuck the Calabasas crib, because there's too many of my bras over there. I, I can't stand it. 
I talk, I text one time he had a pool party. Three of my girls hit me. I'm at Drake's. I said, I wish all three of y'all could see my phone and see how many of y'all is there. Don't y'all feel like cattle? God damn. It's like Y'all just sit in the pasture. Moo. It's like three hundred. No, I'm saying that. I'm saying that to say, yo, don't keep I'm going. Saying, don't come, keep going. Come over to the to our spot where you gonna be loved and treated well. We gonna we gonna rub your feet. Amen. We might further get you something to drink. Get you something. Yeah. Go. Oh my God. Rocco Moon is Doing out the, the building. Most. Rocco. Charles Bye. Hamilton disappeared from from the universe. He ain't even he ain't even leave. He just phew. That's CH style. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, I have to say this. So last Monday was my birthday. Which Ooh, is, happy which birthday. Is, yeah, happy birthday. Which is very, very important. <laughs> um, how old is you? How old is you? How old is you? Oh. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> how old is you? I am actually, you know, I was there when Jesus. You know, okay. oh, <laughs> nice shit. don't even start. I, was, I think I'm not sure exactly, but I was definitely born between his birth and him getting hung on the cross. So somewhere in between there. That so I'm around sense. 2000. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm around 2000. So it's you know, give or take <laughs> a couple years. But I um, shout out to Jesus. His birthday's coming. Yes. His yeah. birthday is on the way. Well, according to allegedly. Yeah, allegedly, right. <laughs> um yeah, his birthday is on the way. Shout out to Yahshua. Um you know there's no J in the Hebrew language, so there actually is no Jesus. There is Yeshua. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We love him so much. Um So, but today is my dad's birthday. So, the Happy creator birthday. of the ultimate creator <laughs> Me, so let's make give a big shout out to Big Sal, <laughs> my dad, and my dad. This is why this is important. So my dad was born in Baghdad, Iraq, which is nuts, right? That's nuts. I mean, Arkansas is far, but Iraq is really far. So, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to that I'm even able to be here in mm. LA. Wearing these really cool shiny Dre Van Newton pants and just be be able to be here and make music and do stuff. So I'm very happy that Donald Trump was not president during that time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so my actually I do like Donald Trump, so I don't want to say that, but I'm just saying yeah, You voted to, for him, right? I did vote for him, yeah. I don't know if that's politically correct to say. Yeah, I did. Well, the only reason why I voted for him was because I think that you need Lucifer to run hell. And I think that, <laughs> and I think that America, at the end of the day, you know, we always talk about justice and say we fighting for justice and da da da. How can you ask for justice on stolen land? The whole concept of America has been thieved. We thieved it from the beginning. You know, when's the last time you seen a Native American family in Burger King eating, eating dinner together? Never, because you know they've been they got smallpoxed. And you know, so how can you ask for justice on on an entirely, you know, thieved concept? So I think, and people say, well, he's not a politician. How could you vote for a politician or someone who's not a politician? At the end of the day, he's a you know, people say well, he's a businessman. America's a business. America's the greatest business of all time. Well, America has a very skewed sense of reality because we're so obsessed with social media and creating something that's a facade. And I think that's why it that's a really big part of why we're at where we are right now. Yeah, you know? absolutely. No, I mean, America. People he, think this is a game. No, but here's the thing. No, but here's the thing. Caprice, Caprice, here's the thing. America has only really produced two things, tobacco and fame. That's it. And cars. It. Yeah, I guess in cars. And, and planes. Well, I don't know. I think Howard Hughes might have like. I think Howard Hughes might have been like, who, who, the, the Wright brothers? Where are they from? Like, like Virginia or something. I don't know. So, somewhere. Hmm. I'm trying to get out of this so I'm not wrong. <laughs> well, that, that, the thing about Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump. Everyone hates Trump, but the thing that's good about it is that now everyone's awake. And more conscious about what's going on. So as horrible yeah. as he is, at least he's brought us some awareness to like the youth. It's you know, funny. And like, you know, people are more conscious now of what's mm-hmm. happening and there's more youth involved mm-hmm. in politics, mm-hmm. which is a good thing for the future. So. Absolutely. 
it's it's crazy to have conversations with my dad and my mom who were there for the civil rights movement and and for them to feel that they made so much ground but because now social media you know we have cameras on our phones we can record anything and so i feel like that generation thought that they made so many changes broke so much ground and then once we were able to capture what was still happening in real time it was revealed that not very much has changed since then so i guess that's kind of yeah, we dug our own grave. This is where where we are right now. But my 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 um, sadness goes more toward that generation because it's like I look at my mom and dad and they're fucking tired. They're tired. You know, they've been fighting for longer than I've been alive. And to hear the stories of the Black Panthers coming to my mom's door and taking care of them after school because no one else could or like feeding the community and just these real, really real things that happen. That was honestly that was what upset me the most just about the outcome was that it affected my parents so much you know they were just kind of like well damn here we go again you know so um it's an uphill battle we all need to do our part and you know for me at, at least for us creatives I think that we have a really good opportunity to use our platforms to evoke the kind of change that we want to see and that's what I'm here to do I'm sure that's like yeah. Most people, you know. No, absolutely. Ab- the absolutely. narrative is changing a bit. Yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, but I, I do think it's funny that, okay, maybe we might have invented a couple more things. But fame. <laughs> it's definitely one fame of them. Is big, definitely big, an American big. export. Absolutely. And, and you know, the power of Marilyn Monroe and James Dean and all these con- these, these iconic things. It's like... If there is anything that's going to destroy America, it's going to be our love for for that, mm-hmm. for fame. There's and for a vanity. lust for fame, yeah, and vanity. And so I say that to say, maybe I, I don't think it's going to go bad. But if it does go bad, well, you know, you wanted a reality show star to be your president, so you you fell in love with that concept so much that here you go, and mm-hmm. and let's see what happens. And you know, but again. Contrary to popular belief, I actually think he's going to, you know, I think he's going to he's going to do definitely do good business because I think that if anything else, now his reputation is definitely on the line. And as men, that means something. Because all the money in yeah, the world don't hard. matter. Don't mean that if you know the legacy is. I mean, the real yeah. important thing that we need to understand is, is who is he is he choosing on his team exactly. right now? Exactly. Like every 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 fucking president exactly. is just a fucking puppet. So we don't really yeah. give a fuck about Trump. Right. It's this right. whacked crew that he's assembling. Right. That's well, he hasn't ruled agent. out yet. Yet he said <laughs> he said I'm I'm I might allow you know what I mean I might put Ye in the cabinet. So we got luck. You know. Well, and free Yeezys for the first month. Right. <laughs> I can I can subscribe to that, <laughs> but. Uh, going Obamacare going on to what Will said too I think that it's really important for people to realize that it's not necessarily about Trump it's more about the fact that attitude reflects leadership and if he's putting out this standard of just how to treat people socially that people that follow him that's how they're reacting so it's not really about him it's just kind of the reaction that people that really heavily support him are using his presidency as an excuse to unveil this racism that they've been, you know, stuffing into the bottom drawer. And that's kind of, that to me is just the, the most just kind of like, what the fuck? Absolutely. You know? And for the record, America invented their electric guitar too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that sound was wrong. Hey, look, I got no problem being wrong. Let me tell you something. Contrary to popular belief, I I welcome it. I that's why I hang out with Will. For, cause, cause, cause he guess can what? inform you. Because guess what? If we wasn't on air and me and him were just having that conversation in private, I wouldn't be wrong. I I have information. So next time I was in front of people, wow, Hassan, this, that's good information. Um, so, but I'm cool. I, I like. I don't got no problem being wrong in front of people. I love it. Um, so let's do the social, the Instagram, Twitters, all the fun stuff. All right. Uh, my Will dot black. My Insta is <laughs> rogue dot black. Rogue dot black or Will dot black. Yeah. I don't know what will pop up, but. <laughs> but <laughs> no, oh my God. Damn. <laughs> rogue dot black. All right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Um, well, that was not a no homo situation. I don't know where that went. <laughs> I, that, I wasn't driving that car. Uh, 
<laughs> is it Big Duck? <laughs> Mine is um, at Shaprice on Twitter and Instagram, and that's S H A P R E C E, and that's also my website. And pretty much, if you just look that up, you'll find all. The you stuff. got any merch? Merch. Not yet. I have old merch, but merch. I've, I've discontinued it. We're starting over. Come on. We're, 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 we're on top. You already know Come how to hit the floor. Shout out to Rich you Honey. Rich <laughs> Honey. My good buddies, Nick and Brandon, oh, my yeah. partners in the, in the clothing situation at Rich Honey. You know, so we got to get we're, you right. We already know. We're yeah. going to get you we're, right. We have, a lot, honey, we have a lot to do. Yeah, you got Rich Honey on right now. This is two. This is two. I'm lying and shit. It's like Christian Dior. Um... Go. Yeah, and my Instagram and Twitter is S A N A A baby. Say it, baby. Send that baby. I like when you say it. Send a baby. <laughs> I like when you say it. You gotta put your lips on the mic and say it. All right, um, eat the cake, anime. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Don't sign anything. My my Instagram Don't sign anything and Hassan no. gives you. My, Insta- my, my Instagram and Twitter. You know, I'll never say it because I really don't want any followers. I actually want you to unfollow me. Cause I only want twelve followers, like Jesus. So if you can unfollow oh my me, God. if you can unfollow me, Stop. I'd appreciate that. Still, come on my page, see the fly shit I'm doing, but just don't follow me. I'll prefer if you unfollow. And I'm trying to get down to twelve. So uh, yeah. to just catch me in the streets. Woo! My wife just my wife just rolled up. Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, there she is. Hey, to the band. Hey, hey. Um, I'm gonna I'm, as we exit. I'm gonna play this goon record. Um, my man Goon from Arkansas. Hey, what's your what's your Instagram and stuff real quick? Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Goon Day Garcon, man. Goon, my Twitter and Instagram is Goon Day Garcon. If you can't say that shit, don't follow me. <laughs> it's my song. Uh, Goon's a legend, playing? bro. What are we playing? Hey, this is my song out the flames, man. Hey, shout out everybody in Arkansas. Shout out Lil Rock. Shout out those forgotten. Shout out all the homies, man. Real shit. So yes, Jackson. Listen to the kids, bro. We out. Thank you. We're going to catch you next Monday um, with some Christmas Santa Claus vibes. I got some midget strippers coming. Oh, um, okay. And they're going to wear the, the Mrs. Claus outfits. So it's going to be vibes up in here next Monday. Let me just tell you that much. And um, just something else. No, that's it. All right. Love y'all. Peace and love. Thank <laughs> y'all so much for Thank coming you. up. Hey, thanks Thank for having guys. us. And once we get some new music, you got to come oh, back we, up. man. And we're going to start doing performances yes, in 2017. Sir. Amir is actually going to be heading the whole thing. He's looking at me crazy. I'm here. Um, <laughs> so we're going to figure that out. But everyone who comes on the show is going to be on the bill to perform. It's going to yeah. be Vibes, Fairfax Let's for the it. kids. Fairfax. Yeah. You know what I mean? Burgundy nice. Vibes. So we go, we're going into the record. Out the Flames. My man Goom. Uh, produced all by me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I take trying to take credit for shit. Uh, so here we go. Idol the All right, kid. y'all. Catch y'all next Monday. Shout out to Idol. I just took. I flipped some drums. <laughs>